Hi, Don Campbell here with Expand to Web, and today I'd like to show you how you can build custom sidebars using WordPress widgets in the Small Biz theme. So let's take a look at a website here. If you look over on the right hand side, you're going to see that I can have these widgets over on the right side. And if you're familiar with WordPress at all, those are pretty easy to do. You can just drag and drop widgets into the sidebar and you'd be good to go. Now, as long as your theme is sidebar enabled. Now, what if I wanted different widgets, though, for um, different um, pages? So, for example, on the video tour page, I don't want another video widget on the right hand side. I might want something different on there. So, we've enabled that in the Small Biz theme uh, due to popular demand. A lot of people ask for this. And let me show you how that works. So, I'm going to go into my WordPress um, dashboard. And here I'm looking at the widgets panel. And I'm over here on the right and I'm looking at the appearance section. And I have widgets selected. Now, once widgets is selected, I have access to these sidebars. And these are sidebars that we've added as part of the Small Biz theme. Here you see a default sidebar. That is the video tour and a widget for plans and pricing. And this video tour is just some YouTube embed code. So the cool thing is I can drag any of these sort of, um, you know, things over here. If I want to add a search box over to the default, I can add that in and just um, quickly add this nice little widget. And then that's the default. So when I go back over to my website, I can see now I've got a search box displayed. Now, let's say uh, I'm going to delete this one just because I don't want that in there permanently. Now, what we've done is we've set up different sidebars for each of the pages that we auto create as part of Small Biz. So the contact page, the find us page, the blog page, they all have their own widgets associated with them. So for example, if we go to the find us page, we're going to see some different, we're going to see a different sidebar than we see on the home page. Here we've got a video tour and a call to action button. But now if I go over to the find us page, you're going to see that I've got a nice little welcome message from the managers and some social media icons to connect on Facebook and YouTube. So that's what's cool about this is that you can go in and customize these to do whatever you want. Now, what if you want a custom sidebar for a new page that you create in WordPress? Well, what you can do is that we've created these optional sidebars. And in this one, I've got a newsletter sign up. So it's a little different than what we've seen on other parts of the site. So if I go create a new page in WordPress, I'm going to go over to the left here under pages and say add new. And um, I'm just going to call this my new page put a little bit basic text in there. If I look over on the right hand side, I select template. I can say sidebar one for the template. Now when I publish this page, it's going to use that sidebar. So whatever I've got in that sidebar, let's refresh so we can see this on the menu. Here's my new page. And now you see I've got some different stuff over here, right? I've got a newsletter sign up. And if I wanted to add more widgets to that, all I need to do is go back to the widgets area and Let's go and add the YouTube video there too. So I'm going to go to the optional sidebar. In this case, I'm going to add a text widget. And from there, I'm going to say video tour and just paste my YouTube embed code right in there. So let me save that. And now what you're going to see is you're going to see that it shows up. I'm going to go to this new page and hit refresh. We've got our YouTube video now. So that's all there is to it. One last thing I want to show you is these um, footer, the, these what we call the feature boxes on the bottom, we allow, you know, the Small Biz theme allows you to set those up in the options panel, okay, but you can override them with widgets. So let me show you what I mean. Anything you drag into these footer for left, middle, or right, the widget will override what's already on there. Now, what, when we look now, we've got a, we're featuring the amenities page, the nearby attractions page, and the find us page. And the way that you set that up in the small biz theme is I go to the small biz options under appearance and all the way down here at the bottom is where I set those feature pages so here you can see I've got feature page one is set to amenities now if I go into the widgets panel and I drag a widget into the left footer that's gonna override this okay and then this won't show up anymore and now the widget will show so for example if we wanted to make the video show up there all I would need to do is go back to my widgets and let's create a new text widget and we're going to put it in the left footer area okay and then here we can create I'm going to scroll down a little bit so you can see this I'm going to create our video tour and paste that embed code in this could be any any widget that I want I'm going to save it 
And when I go back to the small biz, let's go to the home page. Doesn't matter, these show up on all pages, okay? But I'm just gonna reload the, the site here real quick and show you how this works. So let me reload. And once this loads, you're gonna see on the bottom that the feature box was replaced with this widget. All right, here it is. So I'm gonna scroll down now, and here you see the video tour in the footer uh, instead of the, the feature box that we displayed before. So that's all there is to it. Uh, go check out the widgets section in the small biz, um, and you'll see these neat new things over here. Give it a try, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks.